Thank you. And we have a very special guest right now, and many of you may recognize him from those viral videos on the basketball court. Can we give it up for Officer Brandon? <laughs> Brandon Hanks right now. Thank you're just thank an you. amazing job with the kids. Uh, you've gotten to be world famous, uh, Brandon. And, and the whole program that you have is you decided, you know what, I need to get out there, better relations with the community. I'm going to offer to take on kids one-on-one. -on -one. Right, yeah. right. One basket. First person who scores That's wins. It. That's it. Um, they win. You give them sneakers. Right. Mm -hmm. If they lose... Push-ups, push -ups, right? You got right. push-ups. Where did right. the idea even come from in the first place to get out of your cruiser and, and and do this kind of outreach with the kids in the community? Well, it was sort of it was sort of like an attention grabber to a lot of kids. A lot of kids now in the city of Syracuse they love sports, they love playing basketball and stuff like that. And there was a lot of tension with the community uh, against the police. So I tried to use the tools that I always use to stay out of trouble, which is playing basketball. And what better way to relate to kids than to get out of your police car? How often can kids say, "Listen, that cop got out of his police car and he actually." shot hoops with me. You know what I mean? He didn't come here to arrest anybody or, you know, any, for any trouble. He just wanted to play ball and shoot hoops with me and talk about whatever, uh, how their day went that day. Right. So I think that's the key point. They see you outside of the uniform right, as somebody exactly. they can relate to. It's a, I'm yeah. a human being. At, at, I'm a police officer. I'm a professional, but I'm also a human being. And you got some skills. Right, right. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Brandon, have you started to notice a change in the community? I mean, I, I've heard that kids are actually looking forward to seeing police. They hope it's you, right. but they're actually looking forward to seeing police that's a that's a really big yeah. change and that, and that's the, the most pivotal part is breaking that ice and getting a kid to say not only just that's officer Hanks I want to talk to him I want to play him in basketball but that's a police officer so I can go and approach that police officer rather it be hey where's officer Hanks at I want to play him in basketball or hey I got a question so I think that's the most important part is getting kids to realize that they can approach police officers whenever about anything not just about criminal type of stuff. and you got some help from an NBA player right, tell us about right. that and what was your reaction when you so, got that call so I, I, got, I got, actually got the call from our, our chief of police who, who broke the news to me and said, listen, Ray John Rondo from the Los Angeles Lakers wants to donate sneakers to the cause that I'm doing here in the community. And I, I didn't cry because I didn't want him to know that I was crying. So I just kind of let him know how happy and grateful I was for that. Get a shot of those, Jimmy? I'm going to take those out. Look at those. Those are sweet. <laughs> nice. I mean, Absolutely. Does that mean something to you that, you know, your favorite player recognized this and this is catching on and, right. and, and he went so far as to donate shoes to right. your cause? It, it, what it meant for me is that it goes that when good things happen to good people and a, and a lot of things that we do here in the police department, some of it tends to go unnoticed. So for somebody miles away to recognize what I'm doing here in the city or just our department in general, it's totally a, a humbling experience. It was great. Well, I hope more people follow your lead. Yeah, that's, that's, what a that's great example. That's the goal. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate Fantastic. it. Quick We're question not for you. you. I, don't yeah. want, I, don't want, I don't want you to give away your secret. Yeah. Are you a jump shooter? Are you a driver? Or do you have to size up your opponent before you? I saw one. Full <laughs> uniform. Right. You rose up from like 22 and buried one. Right, right. I, I, I don't like to give out the sneakers until after the game. So ask me that after and I'll okay. let you know. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. We have something coming up, right? Oh, we Over do. The sports at five, activity at center? five thirty, what we're going to do is we're yeah. going to have you. We're going to send you over uh, across the fair right. to the sports right. activity center. You're going to pick a kid out of the crowd, right, and go one on one with them. Let's do and it. Same deal. Absolutely. Right. He and scores. You're meet us. Right. Or she scores. Right. Sneakers. Otherwise, it is. Push, push up. up. Push up. And then you're going to meet us back theory. here because we got something else we want to share with you. Absolutely. Okay. A big surprise yeah. coming right. up at 6 too. So we're going to have you all throughout the show as well. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so awesome. much. Yeah, Give thanks. Guys. Thanks, it. guys. Hanks, Thank everybody. you. Woo, thanks for stopping by. You're a, you're a hero. <laughs>